Hi, I'm Jim with Cyber Recon, talking more about the Security Plus exam. In this video, we'll look at the DNS amplification attack. Let's jump into the slide deck. This is Security Plus exam preparation. This is Domain 1 Compare and Contrast Types of Attacks, Subdomain 1.2 Types of Attacks, and specifically the DNS amplification attack. Uh, in this case, the DNS amplification attack uses DNS servers. The steps for this attack are the attacker identifies a target and the target IP address. The attacker identifies a website with a large number of DNS records. The attacker crafts a special internet request faking the address of the target. And then the request asks for all the DNS records for the website from the DNS server. That request is returned as a whole bunch of traffic and the attacked system is overloaded with responses. So let's take a look at how this would look, right? So again, we have Hank the hacker here. Uh, his address is 1.3.2.4, again, a fake address. And we have Alice, who is the victim here. Her fake address is 199.99.99.9. In this attack, Hank has found a website, google.com, that has a lot of entries in its DNS record. So that means very many, uh, that means a lot of records that are mail records like MX records or A records or just text records or C name records. Just a lot of different information is available for google.com. So in this attack, Hank tells the DNS server that he is 199.99.99.9, which obviously he's not. That's Alice's IP address. And Hank asks the DNS server to give him all of the records about Google.com. Well, the DNS server doesn't know that that's not a correct request. So it will respond to Alice with all of the Google records. So in this case, we see three MX records, which are mail exchange and an A record. Um, there can be a lot of records. So the request that Hank initially sends over could be very small, maybe two or three bytes, but the response back could be 300 or 400 times that big. So what Hank will do is he'll do that query not only against one DNS server, but he'll attack or he'll launch the attack against a number of DNS servers, and they will all respond to Alice. So really what he's doing is amplifying his attack by using these DNS servers in a way that they weren't intended to be used. Eventually Alice's computer will not be able to function anymore because this large amount of traffic coming back a lot of times is fragmented and will need to be reassembled by Alice's computer. So her computer will spend all this time reassembling this and eventually just stop working. So if that computer happens to be hosting her website, Socks by Alice, then it will no longer be serving the customers and making money. So this is an attack that uses the DNS servers in a way they weren't intended to take out uh, or make a website not available anymore. So it really is an attack on availability of the website that Alice is hosting. And it's one of the harder ones to defend against because it is a, a, a denial of service attack. I'm Jim with CyberEcon, as always, with YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell to be notified. Uh, let your friends know what we're doing out here. And as always, be safe out there, and we will see you next time.